to my channel, it's your girl Tati, and I'm back again with another video for you. Uh, as you can see today by my hair and the title of this video, I'm going to be doing another hair, um, natural hair care, natural treatment, I don't know, another natural hair day, you know, wash day. On um, for you know, my hair texture is 4C, you can tell I just washed it, just got out of the shower and got just and everything. So, um, I set out all my products that I'm going to be using, and there's a new addition, uh, I'm going to be, this video, yeah. so, I recently, I'm going to, no, I haven't posted it yet, why can't I talk, but I'm going to do it, so I'm going to, I'm going to be posting, uh, Ipsy Glam Bag Review, and it's going to be coming out before this video, so, You'll see this video probably like tomorrow because I think I'm posting the MC Glam Bag with you today. Then I'll post this video tomorrow. So you're going to see this obviously. So I posted that video. I post. I made that video and reviewing um, all the products I got in the Ipsy Glam Bag. One of them being the Mark Anthony True Professional Strictly Curls Curl Defining Lotion. So this is what I'm going to be using today in my hair. It's my first time ever. Let me turn on my brightness so you can see. There you go. That's what it looks like. Um. Yeah. So I'm going to be seeing. I'm going to test it out and see if it's, you know, if it's worth having in your hair care collection. Um. So. Let me just go over all the products that I normally use in my hair. I use this oil, hair oil. It's a do grow stimulating hair oil that promotes strong, shiny, healthy hair. Um, it has botanical oil, vitamin, and herbal and herb formula, and it helps with dry scalp and it contains frizziness, you know, and it reduces breakage, so that's good. And I also use um, herbal oil like tea tree oil i usually warm it up sometimes but you don't have to so i don't really all i don't all do it all the time and then i use this luster's pink lotion or um, oil moisturizing hair lotion and i use cantu organ oil leave-in conditioner um i need to get some more of this obviously because you can see i'm running low and i use blue magic conditioner it's really good for like oiling your scalp when you're like going throughout the day it's something that you can literally put in every day well I don't get I don't really recommend putting it every day because it tends to like make your oil your hair really greasy after a certain amount of usage and not being washed but if you have really dry scalp it's really good like me because I have really dry scalp and my head tends to itch once my scalp gets really dry so that's why I have this. It's really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to just put in all of what I normally... Wait, let me read the directions on this first. Okay, so it doesn't say if I have, should put it in after my product. Because you know how some things they tell you, I'll put it in right as it comes out the wash or whatever like that. But it doesn't say anything like that, so I'm just gonna put in all the things that I normally put in my hair first, and then I'm gonna try that. Come brush through my hair with my detangler brush, and um, show you if it does anything to my curl pattern. But then I normally just put my hair in some twists, put on my bonnet, and the following day, I pull it out. So it's not gonna be any like big reveal at the end where I do my any puffs or anything like that style my hair. The, today is just about treating my hair and um, moisturizing it. So that's it. So what I'm gonna do right now, I have this really big um, comb, um, wide tooth comb that I'm gonna use to just do some big parts in my hair. I'm looking off to the side of my camera. Just do some big parts in my hair. So I can put my oil in.
and there's no like for me at least there's no order to what products i put in first or last i need to look into that and see let me get this note um let me know in the comments guys if there's any like step by step that i should be following when it comes to creams what like versus water and oils if there should be one before the other because normally after i wash my hair i don't dry it so water is already in my hair and i just added all the other products but let me know if it's supposed to be like that no water is the first thing is it supposed to be where i should put oil second and then cream products or it doesn't matter because for me i've never really made it an issue of um putting them in steps honestly i just put it in my hair And that, this oil smells so good. It smells so, I don't know. I just like the smell of it. It's not overpowering. It's not a very strong scent, but I like the smell of it. Ooh. It feels so soft. Alright, so for the oil, purple oil, I just literally just, this was from when I used to perm my hair. I've had this oil for so long. I haven't perm my hair in how many years, and I've had, still had this little, you know, little bottles of purple oil that they normally put in to the um, cream pack. That's literally what I have, and I just put a little bit in the palm of my hand, rub it together, and just rub it all over my head. And you can buy the purple oil itself, or buy oils that have purple oil in it. Doesn't matter. Okay, and I'm gonna add, see this is, I use this a lot, I'm telling you. Especially for those people who, like me, like myself, who don't expose yourself to me, who are scared, like, not scared, but like, are really tender headed. This is really good for when you need to comb out your hair and it's not a wash day and your hair is dry and you gotta wet it. It's really good for that. Which is me like the other day. twists let me dry my face um when i've parted my hair and put it on my twists i just put it around the roots and everything so that's the last thing i'm gonna be using so um this says to just apply it in your palm rub together and evenly work through your hair using your fingertips what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna try that let me try it because i like to follow directions and see if it's closed yeah it's closed. Well, it's good that that was easy to come off. Alright, and 
this is about the amount I'm putting in my hair. Oh, why does it feel kind of like it's being, I don't know, soapy? Yeah, but now I'm gonna need some more. It's just the hair front of my head. Um, so it is kind of curling up the front of my hair, but my hair is, I don't know, I'm just, I can't tell you that. Alright, so it, it does look like it's actually curling my hair, but I don't know. Can you see that? It just feels kind of soapy. I don't like that. So now with it in my hair. Um and it does it feels really soft though. It makes my hair feel really soft. Uh, yeah, I guess you can say it's curling my hair pretty nicely, because look at that. Can you see that? That looks pretty nice. Yeah, that's nice. Ooh! I like that! That is nice! Okay, so this is definitely something I should get, because <laughs> I was there judging it for a second without actually doing anything. <laughs> but. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I like this. I like this. I'm gonna see how it comes out tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm filming tomorrow so you guys can see um how my hair looks. Cause this looks nice. I don't even want to really, yeah, but I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how some people do it with horsey hair. I don't know if it's because my technique hasn't gotten there yet. It's probably because of that. But that whole wash and go theory where I see them literally just wash and put some kind of curl defining lotion or whatever and just crump that and just go about their business with a, with a, ooh, ooh. Okay, you see how moisturized this is? That is moisture locked in there. Moisture, okay? That is moisture. Yeah, I definitely like how it works with my hair. I think that, so yeah, 4C hair people out there, if you're watching this channel, and you have my hair texture, I think this is definitely something you should get. Look at the bottle again so you can see it's the Mark Anthony True Professional Strictly Curls Curl Defining Lotion. And it definitely does define your curls. My hair, that, that, it just, ooh, it was bouncy. So yeah guys, I think I'm going to end the video and just twist my hair now because obviously this, I'm just showing you um, the moisture that it locks in when once you actually moisturize your hair and twist it and leave it overnight to just, you know, do what it needs to do, marinate, like it's like chicken, just leave it to marinate a little bit and it locks in all the moisture in your hair, it, it has the time to literally suck up what it needs to suck up and grow. That's why you have natural, growing, healthy hair. Yeah, so I think that this pretty much covered it. As I said, I feel like this is something I am going to invest in now. Um, right now, this is a pretty good amount. 
well not really because the way I feel like I would use a lot I'm probably gonna be using a lot of it so even though this is a pretty good amount for a test um, sample I am thinking of getting one just of the, the regular size of this yeah cuz it is so nice but guys don't mind my hands I'm allergic to dairy products and I've been in contact with a lot of dairy recently, so it kind of messed with my hands. So if that's what you're looking at, don't look at it, okay? Anyways. But yeah, I would definitely invest in this. It's so good. It's really nice. Woo, my hair's about to go. My hair's not falling. It's literally, normally by now, after I've um, twisted my hair, I would just shrink back up. Honestly. Like how this is right here, it just shrink all the way back up. But it's not. It's nice. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching the video. I'm just going to twist up my hair, put on the bonnet, and call it a day. Well, I'm not putting on the bonnet right after because I'm going to let my hair dry. Then I'll just put on a bonnet and take it out tomorrow. Hopefully I'm filming and you'll see, uh, you know, you'll see something. You'll see how it comes out. Um, but yeah, I think it's, some, it's something worth getting and adding to your collection because it, it definitely does help. Because you know you have these products where they say they're curl defined and worship you're wondering who use curls. But they really need to come out with products that say for, for C hair texture, for so and so hair texture. Because some of these curl defining lotions and curl mousses and curl whatevers, they're not for our curl patterns. That's all I'm saying. They're for some curl. I'm not saying they don't curl. They just don't curl for us. You understand? Know so I'm glad that this actually was curl defining. I'm gonna see if when I remove the twists after my hair is dried and everything tomorrow, if it is frizz free. Because this does, um, my oils do help with frizzing, but my hair is tends to get really frizzy. Like, if there's a term back home where they call it, I have hog hair. Like, my hair just flies. It's flying in the wind, it don't matter, it just flies, so if this really helps with the frizz, I'll let you guys know about that in the next video, but yeah, I think this is something really good that you need to get, this is what it looks like one more time. I think it's something worth investing in, because you know, you just want your hair to grow, be healthy, strong, so that's what, beautiful. And if it helps it, then all the more to it. So yeah, I think you guys should invest in it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.